stuff here. Look what's finally here. Alright, so after waiting darn close to a month and a half, um, this is my Gotway M10 III. Um, first thing that I noticed was how small the box is compared to uh, my other Gotway wheels, my M Super, and then my Monster came in something the size of a large suitcase. I mean, that thing was massive. So this, this is the smallest box that I've had for any of my wheels. Uh, it doesn't feel horribly heavy. Again, in comparison to the Monster, it's a flyweight. I've been monitoring this thing on uh, FedEx all day. Actually, I was hoping I could like drive to the FedEx location last night and pick it up, but they said I couldn't, unfortunately. So, let's open this bad boy up. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late in the day, so I'm gonna probably wind up just putting this on a charger and not doing much else with it, and then uh, get to ride it tomorrow. All right, so we got a nice, This is something custom that's needed for this wheel. I don't know. That's a wheel. It's a weird extender. This is normal, but then this piece is on the end. Not sure what that is, but I will figure that out. Got our American style plug, and in here is power adapter. I have to be honest. I'm not sure. Oh, this must okay. This must be an 84 volt wheel as well based on the power pin because it's um, a four plug instead of a three plug so I didn't really realize that this is an 84 volt wheel. Alright. Can you see it? I don't know. Alright. Um, I don't think I mentioned it, but this came from uh, Jason at E-Wheels, who is really pretty much my only source that I would trust in the United States for uh, buying wheels. I shouldn't say that. There's other there's other dealers that are good. Uh, Nevin from Tech Toys, he's a good dealer. Um, but uh, I've had a good experience with Jason, and uh, I would uh, encourage people to uh, buy from him. So, all right. Let's Wrapping off. So you put this down a little bit more. There we go. Jeez. Oh, right, you know, I've been a little critical of Gotway recently. Well, not recently, for probably close to a year actually. About some of their design choices. Oh, that's weird. The plastic on this is almost like. It almost looks like carbon fiber. It's a carbon fiber texture. Which I don't remember seeing that at anybody else's wheel. I don't remember Marty's looking like that. Interesting. But anyways, um, what I'm talking about is, uh, I got sidetracked here, sorry. Tire pressure feels good. Is I've been you know rough on Gotway as far as their safety record, uh, some of their quality control stuff has been pretty egregious, just stupid things. Like I remember when uh, the shipment of um, M Supers were sent to Ian at Speedy Feet, and they all had like two left pedals or something like that. Just, you know, just all kinds of questionable things. And I open up my brand new M10, and the battery sticker is upside down. So of course it's a minor thing. I, uh, I can take. I guess I'll just take it off altogether. Yeah, just take it off. But um, I mean, really, how difficult was it for the, someone to put the sticker on oriented correctly? Really. Ugh. 
All right, well, hopefully the rest of the wheel is, is fine. So we'll turn it on. All right, we're balancing. And in the back, I think we should be able to read the battery in the back. But the wheel, the uh, lights on these are quite cool. They remind me of the, um, the, um, the uh, MCM4 wheel, uh, MCM4 lights. So I thought when you stop, you got a battery indicator. Oh, there it is. Okay. Battery indicator is in the front. So I have two glowing lights. Uh, that probably means that I'm around 40%. But it does feel like it's balancing. All right. No, I need to take it out in the driveway and just at least ride it for two minutes. Don't you think? It's ironic that um, in the last week, Marty actually blew up his M10. Um, evidently, he rides it to work, and he was trying to like kind of maneuver through a tight spot, a turnstile, I think he said, and it got stuck for from the way he described it, only a split second, and it basically popped the wheel, blew out something. Not what he thought, though, you know. In the past, when I've seen this happen, it's happened with other Godway wheels. Um, usually blows the MOSFET, but he actually, Marty actually ripped the wheel all the way apart, the antenna, all the way apart, and all the MOSFETs looked fine. There was no visible signs of any of them burning, which um, usually when they go, you, there's a no doubt about it, visual appearance that you can see. So it did not have that appearance, but Obviously something's wrong. It won't even turn on. It's like dead as a doornail. So I believe he uh, is waiting for a new system board. But in true Marty fashion, while he's waiting for that, he uh, uh, bought a Gotway Tesla. Yep. So in the light here, if you zoom, you can see what I mean about the texture. The texture in the plastic. Like I said, I don't recall ever seeing that or hearing that mentioned by anybody, but I think it looks cool. So Cindy's out here and she's going to witness my first attempt to ride the M103. You ready? You hear it beeping, the low battery beep, I guess. I thought that um, two lights would mean 40%, but maybe that means 20%. So maybe that's why it's beeping. So it's time to uh, put it on the charger, and uh, we'll ride it a lot more tomorrow. I'm gonna put some protection on it, I think. But that feels weird. I don't know if you can see me at the, at the bottom of the driveway, but I was trying to do a semi-tight turn, and I just, I don't know. Didn't feel natural, but it's, it's like anything else. I mean, every wheel I've gotten, there's an adjustment period, so there's gonna be an adjustment period for this as well, but um, I'm willing to go through that and see how it goes. So look for more soon. Until next time, Duffman out.